right, time to open up the P.O. Box mail that I got in December, and there is a shitload, uh, I assume, because Christmas time, it makes sense. So, let's just get down to it. Let's see what you guys sent in. First off, here's a cute uh, kitten postcard. Aw, oh, look at those kittens. From Xiao Tu, X-I-A-O-T-U. I don't know if that's your username or whatever, but anyways, thank you very much. Super cute. Aw, it's cute little kitties. Here's a letter from... Ooh, can I read this? Kayla? Happy holidays! Happy holidays! I bought too many Christmas cards, so enjoy this Christmas card. You are very cool. Have a happy holidays. I think that says Kaylin. Kaylin. Kaylin? At Water Bottles, W A T R Bottles on Twitter. Well, thank you, Kaylin, for the Christmas card. Aww. Happy holidays! Here's a letter from Michael. Dear Sung One, this is my first time writing to you, and I'm a new fan of your work. What are some of your favorite anime that you have seen from this year? One of my favorites was Vodokoi. I am just waiting for the day when One Piece re reaches its final chapter and final episode so I could attempt to binge watch over 20 years of a whole series, but I have a feeling that it would take at least 3 to 5 years. I am excited to play Jump Force. Thank you for your work, and have a Merry Christmas and New Year. From, is that Michael or Mikhail? I don't know how exactly how to pronounce it, but anyway, thank you, M I K A E L. M Mikhail? Michael? M Mik I'll say both. Um, favorite anime this year? Uh, I'm really behind. I'm always a year behind. I really liked My Hero Academia Season 2. Still haven't seen Season 3. Um, I really liked Agretzuko, uh A Place Further Than the Universe, um, Laid Back Camp, and Full Metal Panic Invisible Victory. Those are my favorite ones I've seen this year. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for the letter. Here's a letter from Cam Buck. Dear Sung One, greetings from Alaska. I have never written fan mail before, but I saw your last video on December 2nd and decided why the heck not? Right now, the weird kid who lives across the street is either yelling at somebody or yelling at himself, and this might not even be the weirdest thing I've seen him do. Uh, anyways, saw you moved. Don't know how long ago. I'm a new subscriber. To California. From one earthquake state to another, let's hope y'all don't get a big-ass earthquake like the one we just had here. Ooh, 7.0 or 7.2. I'm not sure exactly which is right. I'm fine since I was in Fairbanks, which was like 300 miles from the epicenter. I hope you never have to deal with something like that anytime soon. Yeah, me neither. Fingers crossed. One of my favorite videos of yours is the one about saving the game and forgetting that you saved it. That happens to me all the time when I'm playing Pokemon. I just admire your sense of humor and your ability to create such funny content. Please don't ever give up. Sincerely, Cameron. P.S. On the back, P.P.S. encloses $2, which, yep, there are there's $2 in here. Uh, that I got off my roommate when she asked me to buy her a McFlurry. I was going to give you exactly three sixty nine because that's how much it costs here, but I don't have any, any more single dollar bills. PPPS, she still owes me like one sixty nine. Well, I hope your roommate pays you back. Thank you very much for the letter, Cameron. Uh, yeah, earthquakes are scary shit. Um, but hopefully we won't have to deal with that for a while. And, uh, maybe I'll go buy McFlurry with this. Thank you very much. Here's a postcard with the Kingdom Hearts gang! Oh, it's got Goofy, Mickey, Donald, Axel, R Sora, Riku, uh, Kairi... I don't know what the hell that is. It's something else. Uh, hi, Sung One, Alex, and Anne Marie. Oh, this is that, uh, for PBNT, my Let's Play channel, Press Buttons and Talk. Check it out in the description. Enjoy this cute postcard from one of my favorite Kingdom Hearts artists, Ket Super, K-E-T-T -T Super. I loved your Kingdom Hearts Let's Play, and I would be ecstatic if you decided to play through more Ki Kingdom Hearts franchise games on your channel. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays from Mithy. Oh, yeah, Mithy. Thank you, Mithy. We know you. Uh, thank you very much, Mithy. Super cute postcard. Very cute. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you're always supporting us, and we really appreciate it. Here's a letter from R or D? I don't know exactly. From Maryland. And this one is addressed to press buttons and talk. Hey, it's not a post. It's a card. How nice. So it looks like a mom and a baby. Dear press buttons and talk, happy holidays. Uh, may you have warmth in your igloo, oil in your lamp, and peace in your heart. Uh, that's what the card says. And then, hope you have many happy returns, a peaceful rest of 2018, and a fantastic new year from Rosie. Uh, thank you, Rosie. And here is another letter inside here. Dear Sung One, Alex, and Anne-Marie, Merry Christmas! I don't know if you'll remember this, but I'm the gal who sent you that Christmas card last year with the sadder girl on the cover, and Sung One couldn't read my handwriting. Yeah, I'm really bad at that. I decided that it'd be fun to send you guys another card, since mailing out a yearly Christmas card that I designed myself is a tradition of mine. What are some of your favorite traditions? In my mind, a tradition is just an activity you do annually, and it doesn't matter how large or small as long as it makes you feel both nostalgic and refreshed. Another one of my personal traditions is making time to watch Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Of all the old stop-motion animated movies, that one is my favorite. This has been a very long year, hasn't it? 
Yep. A lot of things, both good and bad, happen. Let's focus on the good for this letter. I am super proud of how much the channel has grown. The day's not complete until I turn on an episode of PB&T. I usually either watch you guys while I'm eating lunch or listen to you guys while I'm working on art. I think my favorite series you guys did this year were Overcooked and The Walking Dead. Listening to the banter between you guys is hilarious. It's also fascinating to listen to the, re the reasoning behind different decisions you make in both games. Something small that I love is when Amory does her own little snippets, like when she's voicing Daisy in the multiple Mario Party series. Those moments make the LP all the more genuine and relaxing. Uh, and there's quick individual snippets. I'll just read the one uh, for me. Uh, for Sungwon, my boyfriend and I are both subscribed to your main channel. Even though we live separately, we tend to watch your skits at the same time and then decide to send each other the links to them at the same time. It's super accidental, but it happens more frequently than either one of us would like to admit. You're incredibly creative. Thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoy them. Uh, thanks for putting in as much work as you guys do into the channel. I love the super positive vibes you all put into the experience. It's refreshing and highly appreciated. Merry Christmas and have a wonderful new year. Rosie. Thank you, Rosie. Christmas traditions. We don't really have any, really. The only thing I can really think of is, is that a group of us, um, including Alex and Anne-Marie, uh, we usually do like a gift exchange every year. Um, like between, I mean, obviously that's, of course you give gifts on Christmas, but uh, this has been like a group of like internet friends for like, we've known each other since we were like high school, basically, maybe even earlier than that. So it's kind of like a little tradition we do. We send each other stuff. Yeah, otherwise, just boring Christmas shit, I guess. But thank you very much for the letter, and thank you very much for the card. Super cool. And uh, I'll definitely be uh, showing this to them on the PBNT channel, and they'll be reading their snippets. So thank you. Here's a letter from Tofu and Family from California. Happy holidays from Tofu. Love Tofu, John, and Tiffany at Tofu underscore Corgi. Dear Sung Won, your videos are some of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. My fiance and I are constantly quoting your videos. Wishing you and your wife a wonderful holiday season. Best, Tiffany. Thank you, Tiffany. Aw, I love tofu. And they also sent tofu stickers. Look, it's tofu on tofu and also just tofu. Thank you very much. And I uh, hope you guys had a good Christmas. Here's a letter from Genevieve from Oregon. This is beautiful. I love that. Mer meow, not Merry. Meowy Christmas and happy Hamukat. Uh, your videos never fail to make me laugh, especially ones with Effie and Selfie. My Christmas wish is to age as slowly as you and Anne-Marie. Yes, we are immortal. Genevieve. P.S. I'm the Anon that sent the talking spoons idea. It was a reference to Beauty and the Beast. Oh, okay. Thank you, Genevieve. And Genevieve also sent this very pretty picture. It's a cat, but it's a sky. It's sky cat. Again, beautiful. Uh, and thank you very much, Genevieve. Here's a letter from Lynn and Darnell from Maine. Aw, it's a doggy looking at a Christmas tree. Oh, and there's a cat and a mouse too. Song 1 and Anne-Marie, we wish you a very Merry Christmas and a very happy, safe, and prosperous New Year. Take care. Merry Christmas, Lynn and Darnell. P.S. Oh, T Tarma Hartley on Tumblr. Oh, Tarma Hartley. Yeah, I, 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 I know you. Thank you very much, you two. Uh, yeah, this is a super cute card, and I hope you guys also had a wonderful Christmas. Merry Christmas to all of you. It's late. It's not Christmas anymore, but the spirit is still there. Alright, here's an envelope from... I don't know. Dear Sung Won, how are you today? I know I already wrote you a letter, but when I watch your P.O. Box video, I was very happy that you like my drawings and also Spike Spiegel. Great choice. But I noticed I made a mistake while writing it. It was supposed to say that you got me into video games again. So I also drew some more drawings for you and I got more questions as well. Here are some questions. Have you seen or read Soul Eater? I have watched a little bit of Soul Eater. It's a really good series. Who's your favorite dub voice actor? Ooh, I don't know. There's too many good ones. Who's hotter, Spike Spiegel or Zoro? Ooh, I'm gonna say Zoro, although Spike Spiegel is close. What's your five cutest Pokemon? All Pikachus. What's your favorite anime art style? I really like uh, Hiromu Arakawa's stuff, like Flamada Alchemist and Silver Spoon. What's the best and worst games you ever played? Best game I ever played was Paper Mario. Worst games, uh, I try to forget games that I don't like. Have you cosplayed before? If so, what? As. I cosplayed as Brock once, a long time ago. It was pretty funny. What do you listen to, uh, Avril Lavigne? She's my favorite female singer of all time, and also, what's your favorite song from her? Girlfriend. Also, do you listen to Daft Punk? If so, what is your favorite song? I don't listen to a lot of Daft Punk. Uh, do you have any plush toys? Do you collect... Any Funko Pops? Who is cuter, Deku or Luffy? All right, we do have plush toys. Uh, I don't collect Funko Pops. 
Who's cuter, Deku or Luffy? Deku's cuter. Have you played Tearaway? It's so cute and I love that game. And finally, do you listen to Nujabe's uh, R.I.P.? He did the Samurai Champloo soundtrack and his music is beautiful. There are more questions on the back and keep being awesome from Stacy. Uh, and there are some drawings here. Refrigerator Senpai, a Dragon Ball, and Tomoko-chan, and Archibald. Uh, let's see, I've not played Tearaway. Um, Nujabe's, I, or, I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name, but uh, I have not listened to a lot of his stuff, but I do like the Samurai Champloo theme a lot. Who's your favorite Disney character? Donald Duck. Who would FMK out of these characters? Uh, mostly Haikyuu. Oh shit, there's several, several of these. Mugen Jin Fu, I would fuck. I'd fuck Jin, marry Fu, kill Mugen. There's a lot of Haikyuu boys on here. You know what, I'll marry all the Haikyuu boys. Uh, Todoroki, Kirishima, Deku. I will fuck Tokidoki, marry Deku, kill Kirishima. Have you seen Voltron Legendary Defender? It's so good, I have not. Uh, can you rate my husbands and wives, please? Ooh, I'm gonna give them all a five out of five. But reading off here, we got Tanaka, Snow, Mugen, Ichigo, Deku, and Nico Robin, Rangiku, Lightning, Sailor Venus, and Mikasa. These are actually pretty good choices. So yeah, they all get five out of five. Maybe not Ichigo. <laughs> do you watch Domix or Errol Story? I do not. If you could live in five anime worlds, which one would you live in? You know what? The only correct answer is Pokemon. What's the worst English dub you ever watch? Uh, let's be honest, a lot of dubs are not our as epic as the Cowboy Bebop stuff. Ah, uh, worst English dub? I don't know, something like from the 90s or whatever that was really bad. What's your favorite anime soundtrack? Ooh, uh, one that comes to mind is Garn Logan. Do you listen to Vocaloid? I don't. Do you listen to any pop music? Yeah. What's your top five favorite male anime characters? Zoro, Spike Spiegel. Zoro, Spike Spiegel, Zoro. Finally, have you seen Yona of the Dawn. If you haven't, you won't regret it if you didn't watch it. Uh, well, that's all my questions. Sorry for so many questions, so I have some more doodles. And let's see, what was the question? Oh, Yona of the Dawn. I have not seen Yona of the Dawn. And then here we got Tanaka from Haikyuu, we got Luffy, and we got Detective Pikachu. Some more cute drawings on the bottom. Also, picture of Vulpix. Oh, look at that. And picture of Sailor Venus. Thank you very much, Stacy. You got a lot of questions. I try to answer them mostly. Uh, so I try, I hope I hope you're I hope you're happy. This was also sent from the UK, it looks like, so that's it's pretty cool. Thank you very much, Stacy. Alright, here's a package from Stanford. Hello, Mr. Sungwon Cho. Thank you for sharing my petition. I know it's crazy, it may never happen. I sent James Lewell, aka Nitro Red, an email, so I'm just waiting. Again, I don't know what that petition is really about, but good luck, I guess. Hear anything about this Tohu Bohu, uh, which means a state of chaos with PewDiePie versus T-Series? I had an even crazier idea where Felix, who's also PewDiePie, somehow got my petition, but hey, some ideas are just too crazy to happen. I don't know what's going on with PewDiePie. Uh, here's an idea that's not as crazy as the rest. Someone should make a YouTube video skit called Ritual Sacrifice for PewDiePie vs. T-Series or something like that and then it would be a video where someone would burn or disembowel some Peeps marshmallows or a chocolate Easter bunny or a tomato, cucumber, or baked potato with googly eyes like the vegetables from VeggieTales. Just felt like I had to share my ideas with someone so thanks Mr. Sungwon Cho. Have some floss regardless. Stanford. Well, thanks Stanford. Stanford sent uh, a bunch of dental flossers. Um, 150 of them, so, damn. Thank you very much, Stanford. All right, here's a package from Massachusetts. It's addressed to Press Buttons and Talk. Hi guys, it's me, P.D. Richley. Oh, that's how you say it. We've been saying it wrong this whole time again. Congratulations on reaching the number of subscribers you have whenever you read this. I'm happy for you guys. I'm here with two more games that I have never played before and a song. The first one is Wheel of Fortune, this time for the Wii. Okay. Oh, they're creepy looking on this cover. I'm astonished at how well Wheel of Fortune worked. I could have never expected any of that, especially not that it would turn into what I think is one of the best series on the channel. Thank you again for that. We love playing that game. So I figured, why not do it again? Now, the Wii version has some features unique to it, in particular the ability to use the Wii Speak microphone. I would not recommend you use the microphone to actually input the answers because the voice recognition on the Wii sucks from what I've seen. Actually, I don't think we have Wii Speak. Whatever. The real charm in this feature is your ability to record sounds to play whenever something good or bad happens. Of course, you probably don't have a Wii Speak, so just ignore everything I just said if that's the case. The second game is The Simpsons Hit and Run. It's just about the only thing I know about this game is that it's a Simpsons game, and a lot of the motivation for sending this in is to hear you guys do more Simpsons voices. Remember that time you guys started singing the version of Rawhide with Loden instead? 
Well, I decided to write a full version of that. It is featured below. I hope you guys enjoy it. I have increased the font size to make it easier to read. Thanks again for over a year of entertainment and may this channel continue for many years to come. PDI Rich Richley, or PD, PD Richley, Rich, fuck, PD Richley. Now, I'm not gonna sing this song here. I'm gonna save it for when Alex and I will sing it in the opening video on the channel. I'm gonna look through it though, because, uh, wow, this is very impressive. So yeah, we will sing the song in that video, but thank you very much, PD Richley. Yes, there we go. Here's a package from North Star Games. Hey Sung One, we hope this finds you well. We thought you might like our games. Happy Salmon and Funky Chicken. There they are, Happy Salmon and Funky Chicken. Both were designed by Ken Gruel and o uh, Quentin Weir. I think that's how. Ken is a fellow alum of Michigan State. Happy Salmon, green and the expansion Blue Salmon, is a hilarious, very quick and active game. I am sure you'll love it. Funky Chicken is like Happy Salmon, but it uses dance moves. Enjoy the games, and all the best, or all our best, from Eduardo Culp and your friends at North Star Games. But thank you very much. Uh, cool. All right, here's a package from M Japan. Oh shit. Ichiran Ramen. Damn. Hakata style thin noodles, including original red dry sauce. Look at this big ass package. I don't know how to read the back, but I'll. Damn, I might have to try this out. This is some fancy shit. Authentic tonkatsu ramen delivered to your home for the most dedicated tonkatsu ramen expertise in the world. Whoever sent this, thank you. That's really cool. All right, here's a package addressed to press buttons and talk. Uh, and it's got uh, some Ace Attorney characters on there. It's got Edgeworth going, saddled by unnecessary feelings. Ooh. Uh, and it's got uh, Maya and Pearl. Oh, let's see what's inside. For Alex, Sungwon, and Anne-Marie. Hello again. I'm the person who sent you intense Cooper fan art a few months back. Oh yeah, I remember that. Uh, how is he, by the way? Destroying souls? Reveling in the incomparable sensation of true power? Oh, Cooper. Really, really quick uh, side note. I just watched your 67K-ish subscriber video and Sungwon, I spied you in that Rhythm Heaven t-shirt. My gosh, that made me so happy. My boyfriend got me into Rhythm Heaven a while back. It's so great. My favorite's the Bluebirds. You, my favorite is Air Rally. How are y'all? I trust things have been going okay. Lately I've been watching your Phoenix Wright Justice for All playthrough while slaving away at artwork for my advanced art class. I'm a senior in high school, it's a college level class, and it's totally beating my butt. Art is flipping difficult, and anyone who thinks otherwise doesn't get it, man. Anyways, JFA gives me the motivation to get through my art pieces when I have to work extra over the weekend, so I only let myself watch while I'm working. I'm thinking, I'm on episode 85, gosh, Miles and Phoenix give me life. And I finish, I'll have to watch Hamtaro next. Yeah, that's a good one. Also, <laughs> some illustrations here. Mo chooses death. Uh, that's Mo the Clown. Uh, God, Mo is the worst. Um, looks like we got, uh, do you play or own any Kirby games? Look at that little Kirby. Uh, I own Kirby, what the fuck was that called? Triple, triple deluxe or whatever it was called. Um, and I think a couple others. Um, I think Alex has more than me. As you can tell by my latest fan art, I got super into your The Walking Dead playthrough, <laughs> and here's Crawford. Which is very strange because I actually hate zombies. I have these awful recurring zombie nightmares, and I am such a wuss as it is, but I am addicted to your playthrough. Despite the fact that I'm uh, supposed to be paying attention in class, I'm usually a good student, I swear. I always watch the latest episode when the first within the first hour it comes out. Maybe you shouldn't, but... Oh, you appreciate the sport anyway. Anyways, I'm obsessed with the Crawford as a giant bird joke, so I made some Crawford fan art. One for each of you. Choose wisely. Oh, there's more. Ooh, there's a sexy Crawford. Ooh, Crawford. And then we also have this Crawford. Uh, this isn't Crawford anymore. This is Kilford. For those of you who don't know what Crawford is, just watch our Walking Dead playthrough. You can just experience that for yourself. Happy early or late Christmas, depending on when this uh, gets mailed. I think... OG Club Penguin Crawford resembles how y'all portrayed him, but I really like the other two as well. I am trust that you enjoy them. I'm struggling to phrase this. I guess just thank you again so much. Your videos make my day. I really, really love them. It also, all, someone and Amory give me a lot of hope since I'm in a long distance relationship. Some nights is just so hard, you know. Hey, hey yeah, I, I, I appreciate you saying that. Yeah, it's hard, but stick, just don't, just keep going. You know, I believe in you. Thanks for all the laughs and smiles. You rock with lots of love, Ashley Londa. Ashley Londa. P.S. I'm still trying to decide what game to get y'all. All right. Well, 
Oh, just these Crawford drawings are beautiful. Uh, just every single one is a work of art. Um, we'll be showing these on the PB&T opening video and uh, we'll be fighting over who gets what. I'm, I'm torn between Kilford and OG Crawford. Kilford's pretty good. Here's a package from Christiana from North Carolina. They even wrapped it. Merry Christmas. Funny story, I actually bought this for you last Christmas. I saw it available for pre-order and immediately thought of you. But it didn't arrive at my house until January, and my family was also moving around that time. So by the time I came across it again, I figured I might as well wait until next Christmas by that point. So, Merry Christmas, thank you for making me laugh and smile, and thank you for sharing your personality with the world. You're truly a gift, and I hope you enjoy this one. Alyssa. Thank you, Alyssa. Let's see what this is. It is... Oh, shit! It's a sexy Santa Nami! Well, hello there. Uh... Look at this babe. Yeah, Anne Marie is gonna be like, where the fuck did you get this? And I'm gonna say, you know what? My dear friend Alyssa sent this to me with all their kindness and consideration. So shut up, Anne Marie. Uh, this is beautiful. Thank you. I'm glad you thought of me when you saw this. Uh, damn. That's a spicy Nami. But Merry Christmas or late Christmas to you, and thank you very much for this. Uh, Hot diggity damn. Here's a package from Josh. Sung one, greetings from Tokyo, Japan. Oh shit. First off, I want to say both my wife Katrina and I love your videos and quote lines from them regularly. Keep up the amazing work. We are originally from Sacramento, California, but we have had the amazing opportunity to live in Tokyo for the last three years. During a recent trip to the Kyoto area, we visited Omi Jingu Shrine, which you may remember from the anime Chihaya Furu. I do. We would not have even known about the show if not for your recommendation in your My 5 Favorite Anime video. We absolutely love this anime and have watched it over and over again. That would not have been possible without you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I love that show. In the box is a token of our appreciation that we were able to get for you while we visited the shrine. Best wishes to you, Anne-Marie, Effie, and Sophie from Josh. Thanks, Josh. Ooh, let's see what's inside here. Oh, wait. Oh, sh shit. Are you kidding me? If these are what I think they are, oh my god. They're fucking Karuta cards. Holy shit. And these are from Omi Jingu? What the fuck? So, Chiaya Furu is an anime about Karuta, which is a sort of card reflex game. And these are actual Karuta cards from Omi Jingu, where they play the game. Holy shit. Uh, that is extremely thoughtful of you, and this is super cool. Now, I can't read these at all, but just the fact that I have them uh, is amazing. Like, maybe I'll, I should learn just so I can play Karuta. Um, but just, just as a gift on its own, even if I can't read Japanese, this is super thoughtful. Thank you to both of you. Uh, wow. That is super, super cool. Damn. All right, here's a package from Mithy from California for a PB&T. Dear Sung One, Alex, and Anne Marie, Merry Christmas! I have some gifts for you. You've given so many people on YouTube the gift of good times and laughter, so it only seems fair to get some gifts in return. There's individual gifts for each one of you and a bigger gift for all three of you. Four if you include James. Take care, Mithy Masonia. Thanks, Mithy. Let's see what's inside. Oh shit, they're rats. You know what? I'm gonna save these and open them in the press buttons and talk video. That way we're all gonna be opening the presents at the same time. In advance, thank you. I'm looking forward to seeing what's inside these. Here's a package from Nicholas from Georgia. Oh shit. Hey PBNT, but mostly Alex because he didn't get enough attention. I just wanted to say I love you guys and the channel. Writing has never been my strong point, so I'll keep this short. I sent a few games, and let's see what these are. We've got Metroid Other M which I played like eight years ago, and it's probably worse than I remember. Mario Super Strikers, uh, because you mentioned it in the Mario Super Sluggers playthrough. Finally, I sent Super Mario Galaxy, because I figured you'd like that. I'm looking forward to the little magic boy in the big cup, as well as Undertale and hopefully some Professor Layton games if you get that capture card. From Nico RFV. Just Nico is good if you want, a lot of people mess up that name. Thanks, Nico. Uh, yeah, Undertale, that is coming at some point. And yeah, thank you very much. I love Galaxy. It's a great game, and now uh, we will play it on the channel at some point because I love Galaxy. This I've never played. I'm very curious to see how this goes. And this I've heard is pretty bad, but that might be funnier anyway. So yep, all three of these will be on the channel at some point. But thank you very much, Nico. Really appreciate it. And then finally, here's a package from California. This is Sarah, the Seven Deadly Sins, the Fearsome Dr. Fang, and Goodnight Paradise. These are all from TKO Studios. 
Uh, if it, I don't know if TKO sent this or if somebody bought this from them, but thanks. Cool. Uh, yeah, uh, comics. I could always use more comics. Thank you very much. All right, that was all the P.O. Box stuff. Thank you to all of you. I hope all of you had a great Christmas or holidays or whatever you celebrate or don't celebrate. Um, thank you very much for all your letters. Uh, again, super thoughtful of you guys, and the gifts are wonderful. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate it, and I hope you all have a, a, a good year. A good year this year. Uh, 2019. Let's, let's all kick ass. If you want to send your own letters or some cool shit, my P.O. Box address is in the description below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Peace.